What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a Christmas themed episode for you. I'm currently in Cologne because way better to find Christmas markets in Germany. So I've checked into my hostel and it actually is quite nice. Although I have to make my own bed. And it is a little bit dark in here. The lights don't seem to get any brighter than that. Bed's made. So, let's go through a plan. So I've got two nights here in Cologne. And I'm going to spend each night at a different Christmas market. Cologne is full of Christmas markets. It's got a handful. So I can't possibly see them all. But I'm going to go to the two of the most popular. And then during the day, I'm just going to explore the town. I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten since this morning. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get some food on the way to the Christmas market. There's breakfast behind me. Maybe in the morning I might be able to sneak a free breakfast. Not far from me hostel, there's actually Christmas markets. They're not even the ones that I'm interested in going to. There's two really big markets, but I'm just gonna have a little wander through here and see what it's like. Yeah, probably yes. Well, like, try it. How do you say thank you? Da dance. Danke. 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 I've just had an interaction with like some of the German market stall owners. They could speak some English, more English than I could speak German, but I obviously couldn't speak any German. So they were trying to get me to try these like churro cups, but I haven't actually had any proper food yet, so. I was like, no, I can't, I'm not buying one, I can't buy any. And then he, he started laughing because he realised what I was trying to say. They, they were really nice. I'm going to go to the main market, the main Christmas market, and get some proper food from there, hopefully. And have a little wander around, see what there is. And then on the way home, because they close at 10, I'll probably pick some one up from there. It's been less than five minutes of walking. And here is another Christmas market. Like, Germans do not mess around when it comes to Christmas markets. They're everywhere. I have zero idea what that Christmas market's called. I did try to find out, I went on Google Maps and searched Christmas markets, and this just weren't showing up. But, while I was passing through, I did grab a pretzel, because when in Germany, get a pretzel, right? This is my first actual pretzel. Like, I've, I've never had, like, a proper pretzel. I've had those little, like, pretzel crisps that you get but I've never had an actual bread pretzel so I'm gonna give this a try. Probably not the best idea I'm crossing the road. It's on. Tastes a bit like a baguette really but it's good. Let's keep going and get to the actual market that I'm trying to get to. So we've arrived at our first actual Christmas market on the list. It is one of the most popular Christmas markets in Cologne and it's the one right below Cologne's Cathedral. It's not the biggest, but it is one of the most popular. Okay, this place is actually quite big. There's a lot of stalls here. It didn't look that big, but like everything's so intertwined, it's massive. But there's still nowhere to actually like sit in and eat and that's what I'm looking for. They also have live performances on here as well. Someone in my hostel was telling me that they had one on this afternoon, but I've missed it, but there'll probably be someone later. At the moment, I'm kind of just walking around like a headless chicken. I have no idea what to get to eat. All the menus are obviously in German, so I can't read anything. So I've just been told by someone from one of the stores that there's vegan sausages around here somewhere. I found it. Finally got some proper food. It's a little bit skinny and the sauce job was terrible, but I've got it. It's actually really good. still quite hungry so I went ahead and bought some pasta it's full of grease oh, you can see that tissue there it dripped all down me went all over my gloves it's a nightmare this is actually really noisy I've left the Christmas market now there was meant to be a live performance on but I just couldn't be bothered waiting around for it so 
I'm gonna head back to the hostel. I kind of forgot how Christmas markets aren't really that fun when you're on your own. Tomorrow, the Christmas market that we're going to does have ice skating and I'm not bothered about doing that on my own. It's gonna be quite fun. I've got one of these Goro cups. It's just a cinnamon flavoured one. So I'm gonna go back to the hostel now and get an early night and get up early in the morning. Morning. I've just got up a little later than I wanted to, but I've still got time to go try and get some breakfast. It's not much of a breakfast because there wasn't much options there, but that was easy. Well, that was easier than I thought it'd be. They didn't even have anyone on the door to check if you had like paid for the breakfast or not. Now I need to get ready so that we can go out and do stuff. So I'm just walking towards the cathedral and I noticed this big old building here. It looks a bit like a castle. Um, what do you know? Christmas markets on the other side. They're literally everywhere. Like every corner or every bit of empty space. There's Christmas markets. If you've never been to Clone before, you might expect it to be full of all old buildings and historical buildings but that's just not the case that one that we just seen then was one of a few that still exist because over three quarters of the city got destroyed in world war ii so everything that you see now is post-war so everything is still old but it's not historic The Christmas market I'm on my way to is called the Heinzels Winter Fairy Tale and it's in the old time so I get to have a little look around the old time. We're at the Christmas market, let's go find the ice skating. I have no idea where you pay to get on this ice rink, but it's taken me ages to move through this crowd. This is the busiest market I've been to, it's literally shoulder to shoulder. It's taken me ages. I'm nearly in now, but I've been waiting in the queue for ages. It's like 45 minutes long and it closes in about an hour and a half, so I've not actually got that long left. It's freezing and my legs are like aching from just standing there for ages. Finally on the ice rink. I haven't done this for a few years. I mean I can I can skate, I can stay on my feet. But I'm not I'm not the best at it. I met some people as well whilst I was in the queue from Colombia um, and Ecuador which was quite cool. So I've, I've been speaking to them. Last night was really fun I went ice skating met two people one was from Colombia, one was from Ecuador, and then they introduced me to some of their mates. We went out for a little bit, then went back to the hostel. We're playing pool uh, for a few hours. It was really fun. They were really nice. Hopefully, if I'm ever in Germany again, we can meet up. But now it's time to go home. I nearly missed this flight. I was running for ages. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Have a nice Christmas and New Year. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're not already. And as always, keep exploring.